Welcome back to Rhythm Guitar Book 3. This book takes a deep dive into all sorts of movable chord shapes. We're on page 21. In this lesson, we're going to practice moving back and forth between the E and A major shapes in some simple songs. You can watch all these videos for free, but it's going to be a lot easier to learn if you have your own copy of Rhythm Guitar Book 3 that you can read from and write in. Plus, you can help support a music teacher, so I'll leave a link in the description. If you've played all the material in this book up through page 20, you're going to find the songs on page 21 pretty easy. At the top of page 21, we have number R28, Happy Birthday, in the key of E flat. The first thing you want to do is find your root note, figure out where you want to play those chords, and then attach whatever chord shape goes with that root note. So let's go through that process first. At the beginning, we have an E flat major. So we need to find an E flat note for our root note. There's an E flat right here on string five, fret six. And there's an E flat way up here at uh, the 11th fret on the sixth string. I like to play more in the middle of the guitar. It's a little bit more comfortable for chords. So that's going to be our root note at the uh, sixth fret on the fifth string. Because that is our root note, we'll use the A major shape. Now we have a B flat major in the second full measure, and that is going to be right here at the sixth fret on the sixth string. There's another B flat you could play down at the first fret, but we want to play these chords close together if we can, and that's about as close as you can get. Now that is with a root on the sixth string, so that'll be with the E major shape. There's only one other chord in this song, that's this A flat major. Now, if our E flat and our B flat are being played at the sixth fret, the closest A flat we would want to play would be there at the fourth fret. And that would again be with the E major shape because the root note is on the sixth string. Once you've figured out where you're going to play your chords and how you're going to play them, it's not a bad idea to just cycle through those chords just one strum at a time, get used to moving around. E flat, B flat, a flat, E flat. Not really doing them in the order of the song, just practicing each chord one at a time, get used to that movement. And then play through the song, use whatever strumming pattern you like, and I'm gonna do you a favor and not sing the song, I'm just going to say the words as we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday Happy birthday. There's a fermata there, so we would hold for a while. And then happy birthday to you. In the middle of page 21, we have number R29, happy birthday again, this time in the key of B major. But let's go through that same process. First, find your root notes and then figure out how you're going to play your chords. Then we'll cycle through the chords and then play the song begins with B major. There's a B down here on the second fret of the fifth string. If you started there, it would be with the A major shape. And there's a B at the seventh fret on the sixth string. And if you play that, that will be with the E major shape. I'm going to go with that one because again, I like to play more in the middle of the fretboard as often as much as I can with these types of chords. Now, because this B is on the sixth string, we would play our sixth string or our E major shape. And then we want to find a nice close F sharp. The closest F sharp is on the fifth string at the ninth fret. And because that's on the fifth string with our root, that'll be the A major shape. And then there's only one other chord in this song. There's an E major in the at the beginning of the second line. The closest E to the other chords we've been playing is at the seventh fret on the fifth string. So that would be the same shape as the F sharp, just moving to the E instead, that A shape. Then cycle through your chords one at a time. They don't have to be in the order of the song. Just hit all the chords and practice moving around. B major, F sharp major, E major. Do that a few times. And then play the song. And again, I'm just going to chant it. I'm not going to sing it. Happy birthday to you. Any pattern you like. Happy birthday to you. 
happy birthday, happy birthday, Fermata there, so hold for a while, happy birthday to you. At the bottom of page 21, we have number R30, Hush Little Baby. Again, find your root notes, figure out your chords, cycle through the chords, and then play the song. Let's go through that process. We have a couple good options in this song. We could play our root note for our F down at the first fret on the sixth string. If we do that, that'll be with the E major shape. The only other chord is a C major. So the closest C is right there at the third fret, fifth string, because that's on the fifth string, that'll be the A major, major shape. So F major and C major. You could also play your F major up at the eighth fret on the uh, fifth string. And if you do that, that will be the A shape. And then your C, your closest C to that is also at the eighth fret on the sixth string. And that would, would be with the E major shape or our, our other shape. So if you are playing F down here at the first fret, just practice going back and forth between F and C for a while. And if you're playing your F up at the eighth fret, do the same thing, F, C, back and forth. I'm gonna do this with my F at the eighth fret, but you can do it at the first fret if you like, or practice both ways just to be flexible. Using any pattern you like that fits the song, I'm just gonna go boom chick. We could go hush, little baby, don't say a word. Papa's gonna buy you a mockingbird. If that mockingbird don't sing, Papa's gonna buy you a diamond ring. Your assignment is to practice the songs on page 21 and continue memorizing the notes on strings 5 and 6 as needed. And don't forget to order your own copy of Rhythm Guitar 3. The link is in the description. Take your time with this, and then when you're ready, I'll see you on page 22. We're going to cover the movable C major shape. <laughs> 